I'm Dr. Corey Cutler. I'm the medical director of the Stem Cell Transplant Program at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston. Today we'll be discussing the appropriate timing of allogeneic transplant for patients with myelodysplastic syndrome. Very recently at the American Society of Hematology annual meeting, we had the privilege of presenting our data from the Blood and Marrow Transplant Clinical Trials Network study number 1102, where we examined a, no, a donor versus no donor strategy for older individuals with myelodysplasia. In this study, subjects who were aged between 50 and 75 years old, who had intermediate to and high risk MDS based on the IPSS scoring system, were biologically assigned to the donor group if they had an HLA matched related or unrelated donor and assigned to the no donor group if they did not have a suitable donor available for transplantation. We followed subjects for three years, and at the end of three years, we noted a very strong advantage for the group of patients who had donors. Therefore, we concluded from this study that individuals between the ages of 50 and 75 with intermediate two and high-risk MDS who have suitable donors for transplant should be referred very early on in their disease course to at least begin the process of a donor search and to have a suitable conversation with a transplant specialist. For individuals younger than the age of 50, the same rules apply, and we generally suggest that individuals under 50 be referred very, very early in their disease course, unless they have very low risk myelodysplasia, at which point deferring transplantation for some period of time can occur. But individuals with intermediate one, intermediate two, or high risk MDS who are candidates for myeloablative transplantation should be referred for transplant almost at the time of their diagnosis so that suitable donor and search can uh, be undertaken.